It's all about Takeda Takashi on today's special edition Mortal Kombat 1 news mashup. Warner Play Latino's recent Takeda render might not be authentic. Takeda's new origin keeps it in the family, and End Boon surprises fans. That and more. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Mortal Kombat 1 news mashup, where we know all these news in Mortal Kombat 1 that you might have missed from the week. Let's get to it. First up, Warner Play Latino's recent reveal of Takeda might not be authentic. On Wednesday, the Warner Play Latino Twitter page gave us our first look at Takeda in a render posted with the translated caption, We already have an early access date for Takeda. Through its X account, Mortal Kombat 1 announced that Farrah will arrive along with Kenshi's son. From the render, you could see him sporting the Shirayu's scorpion bandana and his special forces gear. While many MK fans were excited to get a new image of the character before his July 23rd release date, one fan let us know that the image revealed in the post didn't actually belong to Warner Play Latino. On user Karma Tim's YouTube community page, he posted the image from the Warner Play Latino Twitter page with the caption, New post of Takeda for Mortal Kombat 1 via Warner Play Latino, but the render appears to be stolen. Thanks to a community member by the name of at Cybot23724 who informed Karma Tim that the image was stolen and actually belonged to user Ronnie Cage on DeviantArt who posted it back in May of this year. Since this uncovering, the original tweet on the Warner Play Latino Twitter page has been removed. Although as we all know, everything lives forever on the internet, even if you take it down. And no new tweet has been posted since. Moving on, let's talk about Takeda's new origin for Mortal Kombat 1. Before we get into the exact details of Takeda's new origin, let's look back at his history with the franchise. According to his Mortal Kombat wiki, Takeda was Kenshi's son and a student of Shirayu leader Hanzo Asashi. He is both a member of the Shirayu and Special Forces. He made his first appearance in the Mortal Kombat X comic series and was playable in the Mortal Kombat X game, serving as one of the protagonists in the game's story mode alongside Cassie Cage, Kung Jin, and Jackie Briggs, collectively known as the Combat Kids. While Takeda did not make a formal appearance in Mortal Kombat 11, he makes cameo appearances in some of the endings of the game, notably in Shao Kahn's ending, where he is seen sporting a beard, although he is killed shortly after. In Mortal Kombat 1, we can see from the first image of him in the Combat Pack 1 DLC that he is much older than in Mortal Kombat X. From the new details revealed, it would seem now that Takeda's relationship with Kenshi has changed. He is no longer his son, but his cousin. That was leaked back in October of last year when pre-fight intro dialogue was revealed between Takeda and other Mortal Kombat characters. From a Reddit post from Tyrion Golden Lion, we see dialogue between characters such as Barack and Takeda where they say, Do you fight like your cousin? Takeda responding, I like to think I fight better. Between Kung Lao, it said, Your cousin says you can fight. Takeda responding, That's an understatement. With Scorpion we have, The war you were fighting, you cannot win alone. Takeda responds, Tell that to my cousin, Kwai Liang. And with Liu Kang, we have, your cousin's cause is noble. Takeda responds, that doesn't make it mine. The gamer also reported dialogue from a now-removed Reddit post from user Papiko between characters such as Lee Mei, where Takeda emphasizes that he and Kenshi are distant cousins. Scorpion, where we learn that Takeda is no longer a member of the Shirayu, like he was in the original timeline, Scorpion notes to him that he could have been one of them, which causes Takeda to say that he's not cut out to be a Shirayu. He also says in another intro to Scorpion that he had to move on, which seems to imply he's not really affiliated with any faction at this time. This leads to the final dialogue revealed with Johnny Cage where Takeda says that he isn't interested in meeting this universe's version of Jackie Briggs, and that he doesn't want to be a part of a team, which isn't like the easygoing Takeda we all know. And finally, let's talk about the surprise post from Ed Boon. In a surprise post on Friday, Ed Boon revealed the teaser trailer for Takeda. Along with the teaser trailer, he said, Takeda marks the last Combat Pack 1 fighter and Farah the final Combat Pack 1 cameo in Mortal Kombat 1. So far. Here's a quick taste of what to expect with Takeda. We look forward to supporting Mortal Kombat 1 far beyond this and would love to get some feedback from the community. From the teaser video, we can hear Takeda and Scorpion's pre-fight intro dialogue where Takeda says, My losing streak against you ends today, with Scorpion responding with, Only if your combat has improved. We then get to see Takeda in all his glory showcase some of his infamous moves, abilities, and gear. As far as his appearance goes, we can see Takeda donning a possible Shirayu skull mask along with an armored suit similar to his Special Forces suit. While his headband doesn't have a Shirayu emblem on it, it does have a sideways diamond on it that also matches the diamond patterns on both outer sides of his legs. While I don't know the exact meaning behind the diamond emblems, my guess is that it might be related to the Yamaguchi Gumi faction of the Yakuza Crime Syndicate. We know from Kenshi's new origin that he is a reformed Yakuza member and he believes obtaining the sword Sinto will free his clan from the Yakuza's grasp, so it's possible that Takeda being his cousin may have also been a part of the Yakuza, just hasn't left the organization yet like Kenshi has. As far as his gear and abilities go, as History Behind the Warrior pointed out, Takeda is fitted with his extended whiplash strings and razor wire grapple, and also has exploding kunai for extensions. 
We didn't get to see any specific Shiryu moves like teleportation or something similar to Scorpion's fire magic, but we could see it either in the gameplay trailer or maybe explain in the story or future dialogues. User AverageCloud115 on Twitter did reveal earlier in the month that original Mortal Kombat X voice actor Perry Shin will voice Takeda in Mortal Kombat 1. So now that we've had the teaser trailer for Takeda revealed, when can we expect the gameplay trailer to be released? With his release date being July 23rd, it's very possible we could see the gameplay trailer be revealed at EVO 2024. Comic-Con happens after the Takeda DLC was released, so I don't think we'll have the trailer drop then, although it would be nice to see Mortal Kombat 1 make an appearance at the event. If Ed Boon and team think that an EVO release date might be cutting it too close to the 23rd release date, we could see the gameplay trailer two weeks before, around sometime on the week of July 10th. Now that you've seen the teaser video for Takeda, are you excited for his return to Mortal Kombat 1? And that's it for today's special edition Mortal Kombat 1 news mashup. Let me in the comments down below what you think of all the stories that I covered, and are you excited to see Takeda's return to Mortal Kombat 1? That's it for today's video, guys. Make sure you give a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time on the mashup.